In this video, I'm going over also mixer and pulse audio. These are two things that can fix any audio issue in Linux. So before jumping into this, I just want to explain also mixer is the terminal version of volume control and pulse audio control is the GUI version of it. So uh, pulse audio control gives you a little bit more options, especially when it comes to application specific audio controls. It is kind of cool that you can set one application to play out of one sound card and another application to run off of another sound card. Just know that that option exists because when I first came to Linux, it totally confused me and I ended up messing things up. So you'll, I'll reference this a couple times in the video just because it's so important to know. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna start in the terminal with also audio and then move into post audio control in the GUI. Okay, to launch also mixer, we just open up the terminal and type also mixer in. From here, we came into the default screen. Now this is on the default capture device and you only have playback and capture. So you can toggle between these with F3 or F4 or press F5 to see them all. So if you're worried about playback, obviously you wanna leave it on F3. If you're worried about like your mic gain or your mic's coming in a little too hot, and you wanna turn it down a little, you'd probably want F4. Now for most people, Leaving it on F3 is just fine. From here, hit F6 to switch your input. This is all my digital inputs for my capture card, which I have none, so we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the next one. This is all my analog inputs, which you see we have quite a bit to actually choose from here. Please note that these are actually two lines side by side. I've actually seen it to where the left and right channel get out of sync. So if you have like more sound coming in the left channel than the right channel, you can actually adjust that in here by just simply using your arrow keys, going back and forth, and then hitting up and down to adjust the volumes. But there is a left and right channel, and those are two bars smushed together. Now, once you've actually adjusted all your volume, you want to kind of, I always leave PCM all the way at 100 and then adjust front or surround or whatever speakers you have going on. You can adjust these as needed. Now for the capture section of this, obviously I don't have any line in, but if I did, I would obviously need to come into here and boost all of this. So uh, the main capture source would probably be needed to be brought up. And then the front panel, that would be my mic at the very beginning of it. So we'd need to bring it up as well. And then a boost would go above and beyond the actual front panel. So uh, I usually leave this at like a one tick up at like a 20 uh, if I was doing direct recording using the front panel microphone input. Obviously on the back side, uh, you'd need to do rear panel all the way up and then mic boost from there as well. So with that, uh, we're done with the playback and capture. Uh, F5 kind of smushes them all together. Please notice the arrows on the left and right side of the screen as we go all the way over. The screen will expand and you can see more sources if you want to see both input and output together. However, this can get a little confusing. That's why I like to stick to the F3 for playback and F4 for capture as it's just a much cleaner interface and less chances of a mishap happening. Now with that, uh, this is pretty much it for Awesome Mixer. There is other things I want to go over before I let you go. If you're still having sound issues, Please note in the lower right, usually you'll have a speaker icon. You can actually click on this. Your applications are set differently from your devices and you can actually adjust your applications. Both the sound in the application sometimes can get out of sync with your default device sound and also it can actually default to a different one if you manually set this. So if I set this to my Yeti uh, monitoring source, it would only play to my Yeti monitoring source even if my default device was this headset. So it's very important to notice that the applications in Linux don't sometimes sync up, especially if you go in and manually change or mess around with applications. I don't particularly like this feature and honestly, I wish it'd all be just consolidated and just work out of the box, but here we are. Okay, let's go ahead and launch Pulse Audio, volume control. 
with pulse volume audio control both playback and recording controls the playback and recording of the applications listed below output devices is typically where you want to stay this kind of dictates what's going on with your output devices notice this little lock icon this is basically locking the left and right channels together which you probably want to keep that locked however if you're having left and right audio issues you can untick this and kind of see what's going on but for now let's go ahead and leave that locked uh, the checkbox is a fallback that means if this gets unplugged and then something else takes over as default and then it gets plugged back in this will be back to default so it'll actually fall back to it you know you want your primary speakers that you're constantly using as your checkbox here input devices is simply what is being inputted configuration you can actually turn off devices such as my webcam i will never record audio through a webcam because that is a complete dumpster fire of sound so obviously i never want to do that but if you have other inputs in here you want to turn off let's say you don't want your hdmi output go ahead and come down to here and turn it off and you'll notice it cleans up the output devices and that device is no longer listed so this is very nice especially when you're controlling your your output devices from this little icon down in the lower right but i just wanted to show pulse audio on top of also mixer because there's many things in here that often get confused and i thought this quick overview might help a lot of people so that was audio controls in linux i hope this shed some light on some things for you guys let me know in the comments what you thought did i miss anything is there something else you use to manage your audio uh i'd really like to know because this setup here is kind of my bread and butter for any linux distribution i'm always installing these two programs to manage my audio controls and with that said i'll see you in the next video